एक्स्ट्रा टाइम Yeah, it's always going to be the position that's debated, isn't it? That clearly, you know, that was a decision for the captain to make there, to hold him back. And you know, one more wicket would have been nice, but also they may have just defended that over and and, and taken one uh, over out of Jofra, which we could have used through the middle and the back end. So, um, unfortunately, we probably didn't have enough um, contributors with the ball um, to maintain the pressure uh, throughout the sort of back end of the power play. Um, and then they batted extremely well through the middle overs as well. I thought Manash and VJ batted extremely well. So, um, that partnership, any time there's a partnership of two significant scores. Um, You're less likely to lose the game, so I thought they played outstandingly well and absorbed that pressure from that early onslaught of Jofra. And your next one is uh, having Sunrisers in trouble early on with two big wickets. Did you think something else could have been done to break the partnership? And where where, where did things go wrong here? Well, I think firstly you've got to give credit to the, the two batters at the crease. I mean, they played extremely well. Um, we rely heavily on our spin through the middle. Uh, could we have used an over spin um, in the power play, which we've done throughout the, the season as well? I mean, these are all things in hindsight. Um, but uh, you know, I felt like you know we had enough pressure on the power play with those two early wickets. Um, you know, the, the two batters at the time played extremely well. Um, we'll, we'll looking to squeeze through the middle with our spinners. I think we did that well uh, at times as well. We just couldn't get that breakthrough. And as I said, that partnership, they didn't they didn't really give us a chance, I don't think, um, looking back on it. So it was an extremely good partnership and um, full credit to, to the two of the crease. Andrew, at the halfway mark, uh, did, did you feel the team was 15, 20 runs short? Yeah, no doubt. Um, you know, there's always that sort of element of you want more. You know, 10 to 15 runs, I think, is probably about right. Where we could have, you know, we had got that uh, finishing punch to our innings, that, that, that could have definitely been the, the case of a, a 170 score. Um, you know, if you look at the comparisons between the two teams, they had two guys make 50. Uh, we didn't have anyone get past 50. So um, I think that really, if you, if you narrowed it down to you know what went wrong potentially in that batting innings, is we just didn't have that solid contributor that got that 50 plus score um, for us to to really um, put some pressure on, onto the opposition bowlers. And it, it, they bowled extremely well. Every time it seemed as though we wanted to go, we lost that wicket. So um, you never want to lose wickets and there's no ideal time to lose wickets, but it just seemed that way tonight that every time our batters took a, a risk when they were just about to get going, that we, that we lost a wicket. So I um, still want to encourage those guys to take those risks and, and, and play brave. And, and that's the art of T20. So um, yeah, can't, can't really um, take anything away from their bowling as well. And you lastly, this defeat puts the team in a tough spot. In 2018 also, the team had managed to bounce back from a difficult situation. How does the challenge look like this time? Well, the challenge is pretty clear. It's it's win three in a row um, and then see where our net run rates are. You know, I'm still thinking that you know, the potential of seven wins will get you through. Generally speaking, most years that happens. Eight obviously secures you that qualification. We have no option for eight. We've only got an option for seven. So it's about us continuing to prepare, continuing to believe that we are good enough. And, and we've shown throughout this tournament that we've played you know, the cricket that can compete with the best and, and not only compete with the best, but win games. And, and I'll be encouraging the guys to, to really to, you know, let the shackles off and, and forge ahead for these last three games. And, and you never know. And that's the attitude. And I think teams that have nothing to lose can be quite dangerous at the back end of the tournament. So uh, we'll, be, we'll be looking to be one of those teams. And I'm sure there's a few logging up for that sort of fourth spot as well. I think everyone potentially is still alive. CSK, whilst they're on the bottom, are still a mathematical chance of making it. So it's going to be an intriguing back end of the IPL and, and we want to be a part of that uh, finals business. So we'll be doing our damnedest to, to get there. Latest news and exclusive videos from the update. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bell icon click on the bell icon.